this is just a visceral reaction and I get that I'm kind of acting like a two-year-old having a tantrum because I'm not getting my way, but that doesn't stop me from being frustrated or wanting to vent my frustrations. PewDiePie and Social Repose have come out recently with videos explaining why they aren't making their usual content on a regular basis anymore, and uh, I just think their reasons are stupid. These YouTubers are saying that they've changed their platform structure because they want to make more videos that they are passionate about rather than just videos to get views. Okay, fair enough. Then, in the very next breath, they say that there are gaming videos or music videos that they would like to make, but they won't make them because they wouldn't get views. What? They have videos that they would like to make on a topic that their fans want to see, but they won't make them because they're worried that they're not right for YouTube or right for their channel. So they're going to do something completely different that their fans hate because they're worried about views and somehow that's better for views? Hi, and welcome to my channel. I care what you think so much that I don't care what you think, and I'm not going to make the content that you want me to make because you won't like it. So I'm intentionally going to make content that you won't like so it won't hurt when you don't like it. I don't get it. You're not the only one. I don't get this idea that there is content that is right for YouTube or right for a channel. YouTube is slaying mainstream media, and they can't figure out why. You want to know why? Do ya? Do ya? Do ya? It's because YouTube is where anyone can post anything and we are breaking all the rules. So let me make a promise to you right now. This is my channel and I will do with it whatever I want. I will never compromise what I'm passionate about for views, and I will never not make a video because it isn't right for YouTube. I have spent my entire life giving a big old middle finger to other people's expectations of me. I am a bisexual, transgender atheist who was reared in the Bible Belt. I promised myself a long time ago that I'm not going to let other people tell me what I can and cannot be. I'm also at an age where I finally have enough confidence to do the things that I want to do, even if I fail. If I want to write silly stories and draw crappy pictures to illustrate them and record narrations on my phone, I'm going to do it. I don't care if nobody watches it. Would it be the greatest thing in the world if everybody watched it and loved it and supported me? Of course! But not all of my videos are going to be a hit. That doesn't mean I'm not going to make them. I get that YouTube is a platform for sharing your creations, and so there will always be an emphasis on making content that is shareable and will get views. I'm not going to say that I won't prioritize videos that I know will get views and save my more personal creations for my spare time. But ultimately, if I just wanted to make money and be successful, I would be following every stupid trend there is or ever was. But I'm not. Do you see any hundred layers of crap on my channel? Nope. I'm gonna make the content that I want to make because I would want to watch it. Personally, I think that these issues stem from YouTubers pigeonholing themselves into these niches that don't allow for creativity. They're self-imposing unnecessary rules that make no sense, which is exactly why I will never do that. I have LGBT activism videos, lucid dreaming videos, vlogs, and now even narrated stories on my channel, and I hope to do a lot more crazy, creative, random awesomeness in the future. And if my subscribers only want certain types of videos, that's what playlists are for. Ultimately, I hope that you guys appreciate that I'm giving you a little bit of everything on one channel so that it never gets boring. 
and that I'm trying to give you what you like while also creating things that I like. I don't know, but I personally think that's how it should be. Oh, that's enough complaining. I'm going to go enjoy the day and I hope you do too. And if you like this video, make sure to actually like it and subscribe so I can see you later. Say bye-bye, bye-bye. See you later.